I, it's a really good day today. It sure is. Do you know why it's a good day, Sarah? Why is that, Abby? You're back, and we got P Money on the phone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I think we're quite good here today. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm trying to make myself some toast. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's what kind of uh, uh, spreads? Are, what kind of are, are you a, a Vegemite or a Marmite kind of guy? Oh, I hate those things. Oh, oh my god, they're disgusting. Oh. No, I'm, 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 I just have some, some really good peanut butter here and some honey and the one, you know, not, not together, one on each piece. Oh yeah, yeah. I Can love I it. Yeah. Good choice, good choice. <laughs> um, this has been a huge month for you. With your, your baddest EP came out, and now your new album with Buckshot. Um, how does it feel to have so much going on? Yeah, um, it's it's interesting. They were recorded, you know, at different times. The the, the Gap EP was done really quickly in, in about two days. Yeah. Um, and the Buckshot EP was recorded over m- most of last year, just just in different, uh, you know, sporadic little spurts of recording. Yeah. Uh, while I was while I was living in New York City, so they so it wasn't like a big hard pro- you know big big project to do them all at the same time. Yeah. They're done at different times, but they've ended up being released very close together and it's created a lot of interest and excitement in my music which I'm very uh, thankful for. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Um, so how, yeah. how did you end up working with Buckshot? Well, the, 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 the kind of relationship with him and his record company started about four years ago yeah. when uh, David Dallas signed a deal with Duck Down Music which is Buckshot's company and I was helping Dave kind of behind the scenes to, to get that deal done and, and also help him produce the Rose Tint album. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's, that's when it started. I guess I met, got to meet Buckshot and Drew Hard, the other guy that runs the label. And over time, I was talking to them. I was like, hey, man, I've got music. And then they, one day they called me and were like, would you like to produce an album for mm-hmm. Buckshot? Sweet. And I've been a huge fan of his for about 20 years. Yeah. So I said, yeah, definitely, I would love to do that. That's so yeah. cool. So would you say he's like... like an idol to you like have you looked up to him or have you just kind of enjoyed his what he does or yeah absolutely just enjoyed his music for, for so long um i'd say w- when i was like high school age like, yeah his first album the first album came out and i was uh, such a huge fan of the group black moon which he's, he's a founding member of that group yeah um and so yeah i listened to that album like back to back you know how you do when you're a teenager yeah you're yeah obsessed over an album that was one of those albums for me, where oh, I just awesome. listened to it for a year and a half, non-stop. Um, so that it always stuck with me, and I've always been a fan. You know, observed what he's done over the years. Yeah. Mm. How how was it like working with someone you you really you really admire? At first, I, I was quite nervous. Yeah. You know? I, was like, I was like, man, I hope my music's up to scratch because I hold him to such a high standard. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and revered the catalog of work. So I was like, man, I don't know, like, I hope my, like, they've asked me, so I guess it must be good, so, but I didn't really believe it, you know, I'm like, I don't know, is my stuff good enough, is it the right sound, da da da, but um, through the process, yeah, we, we definitely figured out what, what music of mine to, to use for the album, and, and yeah, it, was, it just was really fun, I learned a lot, actually. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Mm. So what can people expect to hear off this album, is it is it anything like the Baddest EP, or? No, it's completely different Yeah, to yeah, that. yeah, I bet. Uh, and, and, and intentionally so. Yeah. Um, you know, I want them to stand apart. With Buckshot's style and, 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 and the music on there, it's very much for fans of um, your 90s kind of hip-hop style, a little bit more classic. Um, it's all sample like beats and breaks and stuff, so it's real dusty, raw drums, and it, sound, it, it just sounds a little more tougher and a little less kind of digital i guess even though it's made with you know we still record on computers yeah yeah it kind of has has a little more like rounder kind of sound that's awesome yeah 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 awesome that's the vibe um so how exactly long did you take to record and produce this album i'd say the whole process if you if you if you if you were like counted the hours it wasn't that long yeah but but it was just done you know we do a a day you know do maybe like four or five hours it would be a day session and then we would we would catch up like three, four weeks later and do another one, and yeah. then a month later I would do another one. So it was over a series of maybe six to nine months. Yeah, that's um, awesome. Last year, yeah. Sweet yeah, as. Cool. So what's next for you, mate? Uh, well, this is this is the focus right now is yeah. to try and spread the word about this. So I'm yeah. talking to great people like yourself and, yeah. and all <laughs> around the world, trying to trying to get the music heard. Yeah. Uh, but I do have some. I've contributed some music 
uh, and some, kind of some score and soundtrack stuff to a New Zealand film called The Last Saint. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's coming out on August the 28th. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, through event cinemas. Um, so it'll be, I think it's nationwide. Uh, and it's written and directed by Rene Nalfahu. The movie's called The Last Saint, and it's excellent. It's a great independent film. Um, so I'm excited about seeing that come out as well. And yeah, hearing I bet. My music in, in a movie theatre was That's pretty great. fun. That's so cool. How do you get involved mm. in such like cool projects like that? You know what? I'm I'm really fortunate. With the phone just rings, or people yeah. send me emails. Like um, being having such a, a long career now, and and being fairly consistent with output. Um, people identify that. And so Rene just contacted me. He's like, look, man, I love what you do. I know you're a professional. I think you could do this job. Yeah. I was like, wow, I've never even, never even had the opportunity to work on a movie. Like, I didn't even know where to begin. He's like, no, you just do your thing, and, and I'll guide you through it. I was like, wow, cool. So that's how that came about. Yeah. Nah, yeah. that's so awesome, man. Um, you're doing such a great yeah. job, and I think you should be really proud of yourself, eh? Because it's yeah. it's super impressive, and, and and it's great to see a New Zealander doing doing such great work, eh? Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Nah, not a problem, eh? Thank you so much for your time this morning, and, and we'll let you go and enjoy your toast. And, um, <laughs> cool, and, yeah, and, yeah. And you have a great time. We're, we're giving away your album uh, with Buckshot next week as Album of the Week. So, uh, so, so yeah, we, we really appreciate you, you putting together such an awesome, awesome album. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope the listeners um, dig the tracks and check them out. Yeah, for sure, man. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. We're going to play the new Buckshot and P-Money song, uh, Just Begun. Uh, Enjoy it. You are listening to Radio Control.